Go. Hey, thank you for stopping by. I'm going to give you a presentation on how to organize your closet in 10 easy steps. The first step to every organizing closet project is to remove all those hangers that live in there that don't have anything hanging on them. It would be amazing how much space you will find in your closet by just eliminating the hangers that don't have clothes on them. Okay? So, um, right before I start though, I just want to show you what a possible disorganized closet could look like. organizing project, the first thing I did was remove all the hangers and instantly found about 20% of space that was not being utilized. And secondly, it's so important to remove everything from the closet that, that is not clothing, accessories, and shoes. In the case of this closet, there was a telescope sport stored in there, there was an exercise ball stored in there, and just think about your closet at home. How many other things are being stored in your closet besides clothes, shoes, and accessories. See if you can't find someplace else in your home to store those because you're not wearing them. So what should be stored in the closet are the things that you're wearing. The next thing you need to do is go through those clothes and think good and hard about whether or not you need to keep those clothes. My rule of thumb is I keep the size I currently wear and one size smaller. If you keep sizes that are bigger than what you currently wear, I guarantee you're going to inch into those. But if you keep one size smaller, that's, that's um, probable that you could lose the weight to get into it. Don't bother keeping those things that you wore on your honeymoon 20 years ago. Because if you lose enough weight to get into those clothes, I give you permission to go out and buy a new wardrobe. Because I know how hard it is to lose the weight to get into those smaller clothes. Okay. Get rid of everything that needs to be mended, or if it has stains, or the zipper's not working. If you haven't mended it yet, I'm guessing you're never going to, and that's going to eliminate a lot, a lot of um, items as well. Or set a date on the calendar of when you truly will mend it. Okay. So now that we've eliminated all the things that are not clothing, what we have left are clothing, accessories, and shoes. IKEA has some wonderful products that you can use to organize these things. I, I first prefer to actually sort my clothing by whatever way you're going to retrieve it. I had a client once that I sorted everything by short sleeve shirts, long sleeve shirts, casual pants, dress pants, and uh, after a couple months she said, you know, I really wear everything in, um, in uh, drawing a blank, sets. She only wears these pants with this shirt with this overshirt. And so I had to reorganize the whole closet into sets. So think about how do you retrieve your clothing? I know personally I have clothes that I wear to work. I have clothes that I wear for business casual. I have business clothes that I wear and then I have my formal wear. And that's pretty much how I have it organized. So again, it's how you're going to retrieve it because every organizing solution is specific to the client. Okay, so IKEA, one of my uh, tips that I like to give for class organizing is using all the same hangers. If you have 20 different variety of hangers in your closet, then I'm guessing that you're not utilizing your space. So you can walk past me, that's fine. Yeah, I'm guessing you're not utilizing your space as well as you could. So in this case, these are pretty darn fat hangers. But if you have these intermixed with your other hangers, they're taking up way too much space. So you might want to go with a thinner hanger like this. And Ikea's great prices. That's why I love Ikea so much. $4.99 for a five pack. So not very much. These are a little on the heavy side. Then we have a really reasonable solution here. Four of them for 99 cents. And very lightweight. And I believe they will avoid those pokes that come out on your shoulder after you haven't worn them for a while. So that's a solution too. But again, keep in mind, all the same hangers really make a difference. And for those of you who have children, you might want to use a smaller hanger that's perfect for them. Again, the nice rounded edges will keep those open. The other thing 
thing you want to do in your closet is you want to really try to utilize your vertical space. Everything hangs across the top, and then you have your shoes all along the floor, and then you have a big gap of space in there. So one thing I recommend is that you get another rod that hangs halfway down the closet. And you can buy that at Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't believe Ikea covers it, carries it, or maybe you can make one yourself. But the point is, then you have clothes hanging on the top. You can walk past me. That's fine. Yep. Yep. You can have um, clothes hanging on top and clothes hanging on the bottom. A great solution to kids' clothes, because kids' clothes are so tiny. Obviously, if you're hanging a long dress, it won't work on the two-rod system. Another thing you could do to utilize vertical space is take advantage of hangers like these. These are also by IKEA. What's the price on them? A 7 3 for $5.99? Okay, because so there's just one. They're individual, so. But again, the same concept. You're hanging your pants on it, and you're taking up vertical space rather than horizontal space. And these are nice and thick, so your pants aren't going to have crease lines on them. So keep that in mind. Another thing that IKEA offers that I, I've become a fan of is this product, which I should have the price. $9.99. Wonderful idea. Now, in this day and age, everybody's wearing the scarves. It's so stylish. This is great. Look at how many different scarves you can put up here. Seven times four, 28 scarves. Or belts, or men's ties, or whatever. But again, you know, if you're putting them around your hanger, which is what I see in a lot of closets, your hangers are now fatter. You're taking up more space. You put them all on here, and you're only going to, you know, take up maybe four inches total. So that's something to consider, and a great time. It's not going to break the bank to get organized. Um, other things that I really like when organizing your clothes in your closets from Ikea. Michael. This is great if you have maybe sweaters that you want to put away for the winter and you don't want them to get dusty. Or vice versa, you can put your summer clothing in here and they can store up on the shelves really nicely. So this is a great product. Almost all the products that I'm talking about can be found in more home organizations. Other things that I find very beneficial. This is great for when you're organizing clothes in drawers. Especially if you have young children like I do. It's so easy for me to tell them, you know, all your uh, t-shirts go in here, all your socks go in here, and it makes it simple. Whatever you can make organizing simple for your children, they're going to be a little more likely to do it. <coughs> and that pretty much concludes my presentation. I, uh, I just want to let you know that you can visit us at maplechicago.com and also become a friend of ours on Facebook. And if you're interested in having a professional organizer come in and help you organize your closet, that's the best place to go, naplechicago.com. Thank you very much for stopping by, and I hope you have a great afternoon.